one of the biggest questions we get from members of the website, Kenny, is um, they want to know how do you teach your horse to plug in or cow up? You hear you hear a lot of trainers say just wait on him and let him see if he finds it. H how long do you wait and let him hang before you say, come on, we've got to go? You know, I call it working the outside in. You know, like I'll start working on the outside of that cow um, if that horse kind of wants to drift out there and I'll make it harder on that horse to work out there on the outside of the cow to where that horse will bring itself into the inside of the cow. Uh, that's kind of how I like to do it. Uh, you know, lots of other people do it a lot of other different ways. Um, I think a smart horse won't want to run by a cow. They'll start to realize that's way too much work. Uh, um, you know, so if that horse has any anything going on upstairs, it'll learn to work the middle of the cow. So when you say you'll make him work harder when he's gone too far, yeah. what, what do you do? I just take that offside leg and, you know, if that horse kind of runs out past the cow and its shoulders get away from the cow, I'll take my outside foot and I'll chase it through the turn and, and we'll go in behind that cow the other direction and make that cow go somewhere where that horse realizes if it hits the cow in the ass or chases it, it's going to have to chase it for a while. You know, and, and most horses uh, won't want to do that, you know, that have any sort of anything going on upstairs. So, uh, you know, and, and some horses you have to explain it a little more in depth because they're not as smart. How's that like you need to, you know, you need to stop them with the cow to where they realize that's a safe spot. Um, you know, so, so that's kind of on the horse and the rider, I would say. Yeah. So, but kind of go into that on this one a little bit. This is a three-year-old. Okay, so in this spot right here, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to work this mare just a little further outside of a cow, and I'm going to make her go back to the inside of it. Right here, we're out here. I'm going to make her kind of go back to the inside of it. No matter how bouncy or weird it feels, right here, go fight to get in the inside of that cow. Get to the outside. Back to the inside, just like that. She's starting to really stop right there. It's because she's tired of going to the outside of the cow to where it learns to get that inside foot out of the way and draw back through that turnaround. You know, because to me, you can overdo drawing a horse with your foot. That horse is supposed to draw because the cow is making that horse draw. And if you're just mechanically making it draw all the time, when you step out into a big pen or a, or a risky situation, it's gonna roll all over a cow. And that's to me what happens a lot like it happened to me a lot early in my career because 